We brought this case after our four-year investigation revealed that Donald Trump committed repeated and persistent fraud and unjustly enriched himself, his family, and his business. Before this trial even began, the judge ruled in our favor and found that Donald Trump did engage in years of significant financial fraud we uncovered. And uh, this could backfire. It, the problem is, unable. all they're doing is recharging his batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And He's I really like hope it back, I really hope and pray that he backfires. I, I think that's what's going to happen. Speaking of which, this would lead perfectly into the which, other yeah video I sent you. Which one? Uh, From, liberal House. Liberal yeah, liberal yeah, let's husband. go. Let's go. All right, I might need to step out quickly because the kids are about to come home. Okay, but I'm going to mm -hmm. keep listening. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind. We've got to go in on this Democrat corruption, folks. You know, there's that old show with the individual who shall not be named. Kids say the darnest things. I'm sure you've heard me make this exact reference before. There's kids say the darnest things, and then there's Letitia James says the darnest things. I think that's probably the new iteration of the show because her Twitter account is freaking crackhead central. The things that district attorney Letitia James says, writes, posts, whatever it is on her Twitter, this little anti-Trump social media campaign that she's currently running has got to be one of the most insane things in the era of the internet and certainly some of the craziest things I have ever heard from any district attorney or prosecutor, the question I'm asking here is, did you guys see the most recent Letitia James clip? Holy freaking moly. How is this even real? We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so Letitia James obviously has a history of saying absolutely insane stuff. Well, let's simply add to the list. Here's a video posted on her social media accounts, which has people scratching their heads. After 11 weeks in court, we rested our case against Donald Trump, the Trump Organization, and other defendants. We brought this case after our four-year investigation revealed that Donald Trump committed repeated and persistent fraud and unjustly enriched himself, his family, and his business. Before this trial even began, the judge ruled in our favor and found that Donald Trump did engage in years of significant financial fraud we uncovered. Throughout this trial, we revealed the full extent of that fraud. We introduced extensive evidence and questioned more than two dozen witnesses. We heard from Donald Trump and his family, his co-defendants, his current and former employees at the Trump Organization, his accountants and associates at a financial institution, loan underwriters, real estate professionals, and experts. Their testimony illustrated years of fraud and baseless valuations to inflate Donald Trump's net worth. And we showed that Donald Trump's financial statements were used to get better loan terms, tax breaks, and a host of other economic benefits. Next month, we will return to court to present our closing argument. I'm confident in our case and that justice will prevail. Now, I don't know if you caught it. I don't know if you guys heard that specific part, so let's play it specifically. Before this trial even began, the judge ruled in our favor and found that Donald Trump did engage in years of significant financial fraud we uncovered. Letitia James literally just released an official video where she essentially makes the claim that her and the judge had already decided Donald Trump was guilty before the trial had even started. Quote, before the trial even began, the judge ruled in our favor and found that Donald Trump engaged in years of fraud to enrich himself. Before the trial began. It was a foregone conclusion, huh? Makes a whole lot of sense why I keep pointing to that, you know, old communist adage, find the man and I will find the crime, or rather, give me the man and I will find the crime. The whole thing was a foregone conclusion. Exactly as I've been stating, Donald Trump was found guilty, or was assumed guilty, before the trial even started. You know, it's not surprising that the prosecution found that to be the case. That's kind of their job in a way, to find guilt and then to prove it in court. But to claim that the judge had already made the decision before the trial started has to be one of the most absurd things that I've ever heard from any prosecutor's mouth. The assumption in this case has been since the start, start that Letitia... Letitia <laughs> this is a huge win for Trump right there. Right? I mean, wait like, the prosecutor begin, wait till a, you know the, the Trump's lawyers begin to actually use these stuff against her. She exactly. Th this is like major. She she just burned her own case. Wow, she's out of her mind. When are these people gonna learn? Like, 
<laughs> you try and not take the man down and you're talking this kind of nonsense. God. In base Their testimony illustrate years of fraud and baseless violation and truth. Girl is crazy. You are nuts. And then like, I told you I told you about these black women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious, man. And I'm right. These black women will become a weapon in the hands of the Democrats, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so serious. It's like, what's going on with these black women, yo? It's like, sheesh. They make them rich and then they use them like pawns, political pawns. Oh. It, like right there. That the trial even go. The judge ruled in our favor and found that Donald Trump did engage years of significant financial fraud. Why would you go on record saying stuff like that? I got yeah, the camera before the trial even began. Like, oh, nuts. He would. Th this is exactly the opposite of innocent until proven guilty. You, yeah, that's not the Magna Carta. That's just, that's a violation of everything we do here in this country. You can't. Yeah. You can't go with rhetoric like this. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about the internet, it never forgets, right? And nope. it, it keeps reminding people and exposes people. That's why the stuff we say here, we have to say it and be done with it because the Lord is, you know, because when it's used against us, at least we have, we know what we said and we can say, you know what? I know what I said years ago. <laughs> you know, I'm going to mm -hmm. live with that, with the results of that. So she, yeah, she just completely cooked her own case. Like it, it's, it's done. So if, even if he is found guilty now, at least he has a grounds to appeal. So, I mean, you know, she, she gave him proof and means to appeal. So. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> Donald Trump did engage in years of significant financial fraud we uncovered. Letitia James literally just released an official video where she essentially makes the claim that her and the judge had already decided Donald Trump was guilty before the trial had even started. Quote, before the trial even began, the judge ruled in our favor and found that Donald Trump engaged in years of fraud to enrich himself. Before the trial began, it was a foregone conclusion, huh? Makes a whole lot of sense why I keep pointing to that, you know, old communist adage, find the man and I will find the crime, or rather, give me the man and I will find the crime. The whole thing was a foregone conclusion, exactly as I've been stating. Donald Trump was found guilty, or was assumed guilty, before the trial even started. You know, it's not surprising that the prosecution found that to be the case. That's kind of their job, in a way, to find guilt and then to prove it in court. But to claim that the judge had already made the decision before the trial started, has to be one of the most absurd things that I've ever heard from any prosecutor's mouth. The assumption in this case has been since the start that Letitia James and Judge, I forget his last name, it's like Endegron, let me double check really quick, Judge Engeron had been colluding in some sense. There's the infamous in-court moments of Letitia James smiling from ear to ear, elated with the press that she's receiving surrounding the civil case. State's witness just about two weeks ago, and he distanced himself from being, you know, one of the top heads of Trump organization and preparing. Then, of course, there's the Engeron smiling moment. James now being sh shown in the background. You've got Trump in the foreground. And it fulfills the narrative on both sides. Just having a grand old merry time, interfering in elections, engaging in our witch hunt trials, attacking Donald Trump. Obviously, there's been something fishy from the start with these two, two clear lifelong Democrat actors, Democrat insiders running a racket. You know, that's obviously the case. And here we have Letitia James once again telling us the quiet part out loud. It's the second time she does this. Flashback, this is exactly what she did to get elected in the first place. And what would you say to people who say, oh, I'm not going to bother to register to vote because my voice doesn't make a difference or I'm just one person? I say one, I say one name, Donald Trump. That should motivate you. Will you, will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the He's going to know my name personally. I love it. <laughs> 
it's absolutely astonishing that this case is even allowed to proceed. The amount of bias, the amount of conflict of interest is unlike anything I've ever seen. Letitia James obviously stands to benefit. She ran a campaign on literally going after Donald Trump. Her entire social media account is nothing but anti-Trump political rhetoric and messaging. Th scroll through her account, it's a daily vlog of hashtag we're gonna get Trump. It's literally a daily vlog and yesterday's vlog is by far the most eye-opening moment. Nobody should take these cases seriously and especially not this New York civil case which should have been dismissed due to gross misconduct and conflict of interest months ago. You know, the core dynamics of this case alone are enough to completely discredit it. How is it possible possible for Donald Trump to have a fair case when he's being prosecuted by a politician who hates him and is clearly running an operation for the Democrat Party? How is it possible to have a fair trial in deep blue 80 plus percent Democrat support Manhattan? How is it possible to have a fair ruling with a lifelong Democrat judge whose entire family donates, supports, and advocates for the Democrat Party? This case should be thrown into the trash or at least, I mean at the very least, Letitia James should be forced to recuse herself and the case should be moved to a complete different judge in a less partisan district. I've never seen anything like it, but instead in corrupt Manhattan, the whole thing's gonna be allowed to proceed because the Democrat Party runs Manhattan and Letitia James is gonna get her moment in the spotlight. What's probably gonna happen since this whole thing is a foregone conclusion is Judge Engeron is gonna issue some sort of massive settlement payment or some massive fine in the hundreds of millions of dollars. It's gonna be the headline for probably a month or two months straight and Letitia James is going to be on every freaking TV show, MSNBC, CNN, NBC News, CBS. She's going to do the whole freaking thing celebrating that justice was achieved in this case and that Donald Trump is now a convicted criminal, even though it's a civil case. Hashtag guilty, found guilty of fraud. And her political stock is going to shoot through the roof. She's going to be the next Stacey Abrams. The next Democrat hero. I mean, absolutely twisted stuff. You leftoids ought to have an introspective moment here. You have a rogue prosecutor, a rogue attorney general, attempting to interfere in American democracy, attempting to destroy a former president and his family and his business, saying stuff like, elect me, we're going to get him, and myself and the judge had already come to the conclusion that Trump was guilty ahead of the trial. Have a moment of introspection. This is the side that you are on. There is no way to justify this kind of behavior it's unethical corrupt absolutely horrid and instead of just mindlessly cheering it on cheer blue no matter who like a damn seal slapping your fins maybe just maybe take a moment to think to understand this circumstance and realize very simply that this whole thing is completely effed up no prosecutor should be speaking like this tweeting like this or smirking in the courtroom the way Letitia James is. She is absolutely awful. And what she said in that clip that was initially played here is one of the most deranged, awful, corrupt, and evil things I have ever heard uttered from any legal official. That's the top cop in New York. What an absolutely corrupt asshole. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, friends, and I will see you on the next one. It's obviously the yeah, look. Look at that guy. I mean, <laughs> he's so proud of himself. Uh, that's, that's, that's the same guy that, that we had. We talked about before. Who had pictures of himself mm -hmm. on the internet and you know, yeah. showing his showing his muscles and all that. Yeah, something, something wrong with that fella. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a yeah, lot Jonathan wrong Curley, with that yeah. fella. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, that's just crazy. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'll let you go ahead and give me a final analysis of this. I just have a hard it, it time. Just, it boils down to this. Like, you can't come to a predetermined decision mm -hmm. prior to the trial starting. Yeah. That's not how the judicial system works in this country. That's everything that is democratic. You know, innocent proven guilty out the door. So, when it comes to Donald Trump, they want to he's guilty before proven innocent. Her admitting that on the internet the way she did that destroys everything it completely destroys this case it completely destroys it so if Not, when if he loses this case and he goes for an appeal it's just going to get th thrown out yeah yeah because now all all trump's lawyers have to do is just use play that clip 
play that clip. Once you play that, it's over. Yeah. She's done. She's she done. She cooked her own case. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> Just waiting for it to happen. Oh, man. That's why you got you to gotta be careful with your words, man. You know, I'm not for censorship, but you got to be careful what you say on the internet. Because it can yeah. be used against you. And it shall be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, hey, hey, let them talk. I love when they talk because Trump yeah. is just going to have, uh, you know, he's going to slide yeah. himself right back in the presidency again. You know what? They're they're just building him They're making him win. The more you indict, the more we unite. We unite. <laughs> Thank you.